Donald brought Carl D up the valley to the exchange site, where he was soon offloaded by crane. His driver and farman and the manager were there. They all said goodbye and thank you to Donald. Then they lit Carl D's fire, and while waiting for steam, they looked him over carefully. A very good job, they said at last. Carl D sizzled happily. It's lovely to be at home and in the steam again, he said. I'm longing to have a run with Catherine. Come on then, said his driver. And they travelled to the shed. Catherine was pleased to see him, and they went for a short run. I've had to go with Lord Harry lately, she said. He takes risks and frightens me. When I warn him, he laughs. Never mind, Captain Toby. It'll be all right now. Later, he met two old friends. Ernest, number two, and Wilbur, number three. After some happy gossip, Toby asked, Who is Lord Harry? He's one of the new engines, they said, who came while you were away. He's number six. Alaric and Eric are seven and eight. They're nice quiet engines. But old Harry's a terror. Next afternoon, Lord Harry rolled by with a reluctant coach on his way to the platform. Stupid things, he grumbled. They're all scared of coming with me. You're too reckless, said Caldy. That's why. Rubbish. I'm up to date, that's all. I can go twice your speed in perfect safety. All the same, we don't take such risks on mountain railways. There's no risk. Why, with my super heat. Oh, interrupted Caldy. It's super heat, is it? I'd have said it was conceit myself. Lord Harry is snuffing furiously away. Oh, on the curves. Be careful! Oh, Lord Harry. I like things to be exciting. Everyone is mountain engine knows that you do not take risks. And the points must be taken slowly. And then the back rail can have no guards. come off at the points and blocked both roads of the station. Wilfred was there with his coach, unable to start his journey down. The passengers buzzed around Lord Harry like angry bees. He was feeling harassed. The manager pacified the passengers, while Col D buffered up behind to take the strain when the men levered the engine's front wheels onto the rails. Wilfred, he called. Who is this wreck? It's Lord Harry, didn't you know? It looks like old Harry. It's fat as old Harry. But of course it can't be old Harry. Why ever not? You see, old Harry is an up-to-date engine. He can go twice our speed in perfect safety. Tee-hee-hee-hee, <laughs> tittered the coaches. Lord Harry seethed in silence. They pushed Lord Harry out of the way and took the passengers home. Then Carl D helped him back to the shed. It was that coach, sir, blustered Lord Harry. She never... No tails, said the manager sharply. It was your fault, and you know it. You upset our passengers and damage yourself by taking risks. We cannot have that on our mountain railway. But, sir, that is enough. You will stay in the shed till we have decided what to do with you. He turned and walked sternly away.